How's it going people and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to go through a short list of questions which you can ask yourself when you're trying to refocus or focus on a particular goal, challenge, task or project. The aim of it is really to be asking these questions at a periodic time period in order to be able to re-establish that focus or to just focus in general on what you're trying to achieve. I find that these questions are really, really helpful and they just help to keep you on track or help you to decide maybe if you need to change course or adapt what you're doing. So let's check them out. Now, as is often the case, it is very good to start with asking yourself the why question. In this case, for focus, ask yourself, why are you doing this? Case in point, me creating this channel, why am I doing this? It's to get more comfortable to talking to camera and to presenting in large groups and to audiences. So that's my why and that's what keeps me focused on filming these videos, producing this content and just continuing to sharpen that saw as was in a previous video. The next question that's helpful to ask is, what problem are you trying to solve? And that helps you to zero in on the aim and the objective of a given course of action, what your intentional focus is upon. It is good to ask yourself now and again if what you are doing is actually useful and that helps to zero in on purpose. I find that you want to be able to focus on things that are going to have some kind of useful element to them. It helps in terms of efficiency, it helps on resources, and of course, it's all about keeping that focus on what you're trying to achieve. And following on from that, you would want to be asking yourself if what you're doing is A, of course, useful, but B, is it adding any value? Does it create any value? Now, that could be on an individual perspective or if in your work circumstances, you're working on creating something, uh, a product or a service, and you want to be sure that that is going to be delivering value to the end user, the audience, and you're going to be enhancing that experience for them. So this is a great question to maintain focus on who you're actually delivering, what you're going to be delivering for. The next question which leads perfectly on that is, is what you're changing actually going to lead to an improvement or is it going to be changed for the better? Now you want to be moving forward when you're actually embarking on a project, a goal, a task, a challenge, something that you're working towards. You want to be constantly moving forward um, and progressing and that's the whole aim of this channel or maybe other things that you might be working on. So this is a great question to zero in on the focus on if it's actually leading towards improvement. Now sometimes people shy away from this kind of thing um, and this question I think you need to ask because you need to be efficient with your time and you need to be efficient with your resources. So it's good to take a step back and ask yourself if there is an easier way. Is there an easier way to achieve what you're trying to achieve? Is there an easier way to get you to where you want to be within the given time period that you have? Uh, can that help you maintain that focus to get to where you want to get to? This is another one of those questions that you do want to be asking yourself. And I think it's really, really important. What could you be doing instead of doing this? Now this I think helps to keep you true, it helps to keep you honest, it helps to zero in and create that focus on whether what you're doing actually has and still is looking to attain that overall objective and aim, the why for what you are doing this for. So I think it's really important to take that step back from things and ask yourself what you could be doing instead because you don't want to be continuing on a course of action that is leading you down a road which may already be spent, it may have reached its course, you may have found yourself coming towards the end of that particular direction and might need to change course. So I think this is a really interesting question and a very necessary one to ask. And leading on from that, it's really useful to ask yourself if it's really worth it. Again, zeroing in on that beginning because this almost is like a cycle of questions that you ask yourself, sort of self-perpetuating. Is it really worth it? Again, have you spent or used up the, the track that you have laid yourself out for this particular goal or challenge? Do you need to kind of refocus? Do you need to change direction? Or have you come to the end of, the natural end of what you are trying to achieve and where you're trying to get to? Have you achieved that why, I suppose? 
it is really important to be asking those last two questions for focus because you do not want to continue using effort and resource and you want to be efficient with things, especially if something has come to its natural conclusion. Now I understand change can be quite difficult at times, but it's important to be able to ask yourself and be honest with yourself to ask if you've come to that natural conclusion of things so that you can refocus on things where you are able to improve and make better use of your time and your resources. Now, that was a short little canter through a list of questions which I find really useful to ask yourself, not just professionally but personally when you're working on things or if you're wanting to just look at improving a different aspect of your life or your professional career um, and it helps to maintain that focus. It's good to ask these questions periodically of things that you're working on. You could just work in some of the questions some of the time or you, you could just work in all of the questions as like a formalised process, but it's not necessary for it to be a formalised process. Now I hope you find these questions really useful in terms of gaining focus or refocusing on something. If you've liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Why not while you're here, check out some of the other videos that are on the channel. And if you want, subscribe up to the channel too. It would be great to have you along on this journey as we continue on it. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.